Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's Act 6.3, and this is quest number 5. We're almost done. And we're going to see what path I consider to be the easiest path for your initial clear. And it's going to be that path right there. Alright, and you'll see the nodes when we get there, and you'll see why I said... This is, in my opinion, the easiest path to take. So, aggression armor, heavy-handed, and specials are unblockable. So if you're good at evading specials of the champions that are on this path, and you fight aggressively, then you're fine. Now, you can see that I brought in Corvus. Corvus is actually available to me when I was doing this anyway, uh, AQ was down and I hurried to get this one done because I had heard many nightmare stories about Mysterio and I wanted to go in there with Corvus. All right, so first up, we're fighting this Red Skull. Corvus is great against Red Skull. And of course I'm using Corvus because Red Skull is tech. And Corvus gets a mission when he defeats a tech champion. Not only that, but you'll notice when I parry, I put an armor break. So all those armor up buffs that uh, Red Skull gets, get converted. Uh, another option for fighting him would be Dr. Voodoo. He does very well against Red Skull. And there are others, of course, Ghost... Uh, does just fine against Red Skull. Uh, so you don't have to have anyone in particular. Now, this fight went a little bit long. You can see that I used up all of my charges. Now, Corvus, once his charges are gone, that is where he got his immunity. So you have to be very careful while he has no charges. And it's gonna come back eventually but you're in for a pretty long fight because he cannot crit outside of having his glaive charges and then he crits guaranteed so what i'm doing here is just basically buying time doing as much damage as i can while it gets back now i'm running suicides so he's hitting harder than he normally would all right, here we go. Now we got the charges back. And so it's pretty much over. Of course, I'm at my special three. I armor broke him just because. Make sure I can do a good bit of damage there. All right, didn't take him out, but a nice quick couple of hits. Three, four, five, and he's down. One five hit combo and it's over. Now, I actually have uh, the mission that's going to help me hit much harder. All right, so I could have gone in here with Corvus. And I thought about it. Uh, Corvus is immune to the cold snap. And this is a mutant champion, so Corvus could have gotten a mission off of him. But we will have an opportunity to get a uh, mutant later on. So I figured let me just go ahead and save my Corvus and get some ghost play in. Now, Ghost is great against Iceman even when he is awakened. Because that cold snap, initially, she's going to phase it out and get more damage from it. So other than, you know, these unblockable specials, and you will have to know how to evade his special attacks, uh, it's a pretty straightforward fight. Very easy. Uh, and if you've seen me in my war videos uh, back in the day, I got wrecked by an Iceman, even though I never get hit outside of Alliance War, I got hit in Alliance War. It's just one of the many reasons I don't like Alliance War. So next up, we have got Howard the Duck. 
don't like his sounds it's another tech i already have a tech mission but you see that one parry and all of his armor ups are gone that's why i wanted to go ahead and bring corvus into this now one thing that i have noticed and i think a lot of corvus users have noticed is that the health pools are going up and so corvus is starting to struggle a little bit he's not able to get his opponents down in 20 charges as easily as he used to he can still do it uh now i'm running suicides and i also have a mission and so you'll notice that i am doing a you know medium light type of a combo uh that's when you know the fight is going to be a little bit long and you want to maximize your charges so by doing a medium light attack you can actually get two special twos off within those 20 charges so you see here this is my second special two and we were able to take him out in 20 charges but if the health pools continue to go up then Corvus is going to become less and less but the savior to that is that there is a six star Corvus so a six star Corvus rank three we may be looking at the new Corvus uh, that may be what you need in order to take out a lot of these guys uh, with the larger health pools uh, but for now the five star will suffice and you can boost up if you want to and that'll make your life a lot easier with these guys with large health pools but as you can see i'm not boosting and i'm still able to get the job done so here is the mutant that i knew we were going to have to fight now i could have fought iceman and i would have gone into this fight with two charges and it would have made this fight easier but it's okay all right now corvus is a great emma frost counter if you notice when he parries he can parry her first of all and he armor breaks her so that she cannot get her diamond form uh right away so down goes emma frost pretty smoothly i would say and easily with corvus now fighting her with ghost it just takes a little bit longer that's all now this fight is a little bit fun because i want to get a mission so corvus gets a mission off of tech he gets a mission off of mutant he also gets a mission off of avengers but he also gets a mission from evaders or auto blockers if a champion evades or auto blocks during the fight and he knocks them down which is a special or a heavy attack he will get a mission so against heimdall when heimdall fires off his special one he gains that little buff true strike and all that and if you go right in and attack him he has a chance to auto block so the first time you saw me do that he didn't auto block there's just a chance not only that but corvus actually does have a little um ability accuracy reduction built in so here we go try two and again no auto block now i want to be careful because if he gets down too low i won't be able to uh finish the uh mission okay so there we go again still no auto block he is very tricky to get that all right so here we go we're trying again and he did it. he got the auto block i fired off my heavy we got the mission so this way i will be going into the boss fight against mysterio with three missions but i did end up using all my charges now here you see how he's auto blocking now my charges are down so 
you want to be careful if you were fighting outside uh, against another player's champion where they had parry, you would get wrecked. Even though you have maybe the true strike buff up with Proxima Midnight, if your charges go down, then all bets are off and you'll get, you know, wrecked. They'll be able to evade. If you're on a mesmerized path or anything like that, uh, you're gonna get stunned, all that good stuff. All right, so here we go. We got our charges back. And of course, Corvus has a special three. And I fire that off immediately. All right, will it take him out? Yes, took him down. So again, a little bit of a longer fight than I like, but we got through it. So, so far on this path, very easy fights. Next up, we've got Silver Warrior, another easy fight. Now, I do have three charges with Corvus, but I want to save him for the boss. And he's not going to get any mission off of this Silver Warrior. So, may as well bring in Ghost and do some work. So, with Ghost, of course, is standard Ghost tactics. Phase, hit. Sometimes I'll do multiple combos. And fire off that special two when I have it. Now, his special is very easy to evade, as long as you're paying attention. Uh, so all of them, even though they're unblockable, very easy to evade. I think, so far, the only champion that I think maybe people would have problems with would be Iceman, because that special one can catch you. The timing is a little off. Now, you saw there, he caught me with the first part. I actually evaded or tried to and as has happened before with Ghost she didn't move and then finally she moved so I'm swiping like crazy I'm like swipe it didn't move swipe 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 and so he caught me with the first one I was able to move back uh, before he finished off his combo uh, his special so we got lucky there so next up Venom the Duck I do not have a Venom the Duck as a five star, but I would like one. He seems like he is a fun champion. He's still a little ramp up and I don't like ramp up champions, but he looks like he's still fun. And as long as you can uh, ramp him up, he is a beast. But against Ghost, no, not so good. So all of his specials, very easy to evade is heavy very easy to evade and so I can use standard ghost tactics build up to that special two I did block that one uh, parried it by mistake out of reflex so I just uh, reset boom got him with that special two phase out the recoil damage and it's business as usual uh, and in case you didn't know, I have Hood on the team with that synergy. When she phases, she does not take any damage. And that includes the recoil damage that you will take from running suicides. Okay, now this one here was a little bit dicey. I sometimes get hit with his special two. But we were able to do it. You'll notice that he did fire off that special two when my phase was just about to end they'll do that a lot. But we were able to evade that special two and get him down. Nice, smooth, and easy. So next up is Angela. Again, another champion that is very easy to fight. This is why I say this path is, if it's not the easiest, it is definitely one of the easiest paths in this particular quest and it is one that i recommend for your initial clear all right so all we're doing here standard ghost tactics uh dr voodoo also works very well 
on this path. I've mentioned him before. He can convert the uh, buffs to poisons and have a very good time. But you've got other options. As long as you're fighting aggressively, you don't have to worry uh, too much. These guys are pretty easy, and as long as you know how to evade their specials, you're good. Uh, both her specials are very easy to evade. All right, she does get that little regen, but Ghost can out damage it, no problem. Uh, if you have somebody that can heal block, but her heal is, is pretty weak. So you don't really need a heal block champion, but a heal block champion might speed things up a little bit. Uh, so will a major damage dealer. All right, so down she goes pretty quick and easy. Again, we're saving Corvus for the boss. And I had heard so many nightmare stories about this Mysterio. However, I didn't really have that much of a problem with him. Uh, I found the Iron Man Infinity War boss more annoying because it was a longer fight. All right, so here we go. Just using up, you know, my last bit of energy uh, refills there. Now, at this point, I said, no, I am not going to do that. So I waited until I had that one extra point of energy to reach this boss. Save my energy refills because I wasn't ready to move on to the next uh, quest just yet. All right, so here we go with this Mysterio, considered by a lot to be the worst boss in here. Uh, so you can see Tunnel Vision. You don't want to perform the same action twice. And that's the same action, not the same special, the same action. So no medium mediums, no medium light, light, light. You don't want to do any of that. All right. And you can see the other buffs here. Armor break immunity, very annoying because when his, or when he gets an armor break, that's how you shut down his helmet. But if you have a Spider-Verse champion and you knock him down, that also can damage his helmet. So you have a couple of options there. All right, so now I told you I'm saving Corvus for this fight. So I'm just going in here. I don't really care. And I just wanna see if I can get as much damage done as possible. Now he fired off that special one. I managed to evade it, but then I messed up and I remembered a little too late that you don't wanna go in there after he fires a special one. But as you can see, I didn't even get a chance. That one hit, I backed off, but he was super aggressive, trapped me in a corner. There was nothing really that I could do, you know, other than parry him, which is what I probably should have done. But I wasn't trying to actually beat him with Ghost. Just wanted to get as much damage done. I should have been able to get more damage. But now we go in here with Captain America Infinity War. All right, so Captain America Infinity War has a very high block proficiency. And right now, I'm just trying to push him to a special two, which I did. Now, all I wanna do is bait out that special two. And I keep parrying him by mistake. Here we go. And I couldn't evade. All of that, all that damage, because I could not evade. I don't know what was going on, but it was annoying. All right, so now we've got that special one and I forgot again and just went in and killed myself because I was so salty after that failed evade that it just threw me off my game. But again, I'm just going in, doing as much damage as I can and then we're gonna finish it off with Corvus. So Wasp, she does a lot of good damage, okay? And so I'm figuring, all right, I'm gonna get some good damage in with Wasp here. All right, here we go. And I'm just trying to do as much as possible, pushed him to a special two. All right, and now we're gonna bait that out. There we go. Now there my evade worked. All right, and I missed, but that's part of his uh, mechanic. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, what is going on? 
Um, I think it might be the node, actually, uh, with the miss. And there we go. Miss, miss, miss. Got him. And then he got me. All right, so we got a little bit more damage in. Again, this boss, I didn't really have that much of a problem with uh, compared to that Iron Man Infinity War boss, as well as Nick Fury. That Nick Fury boss, ugh. Sometimes it went well, but my last attempt on him, ooh, horrible. All right, so we came in here with Hood and Hood went down pretty quickly. Uh, I just messed up with Hood. Uh, he should have been able to do a little bit more damage than that. All right, so now we've gone through everyone and we've got Corvus. Now, I have a very simple plan for fighting him with Corvus. And you'll see it right here. Parry, heavy, heavy, heavy. That's it. That's it. All right, so there we go. He fired his special one. And so now I don't want to hit him. So you see I'm parrying him this time to give me some time. And then parry, heavy. Don't care about the miss because we're going to catch him on the other ones. Parry, heavy. And that's it. Look at the damage. Now, some will say that it was better to do medium, light, medium. Perhaps. But I just wanted to finish this fight. All right. And you can see here, I'm almost done with my... Uh, charges there we go um, didn't get a chance to finish all the charges off uh, I fired that special off by the way because I was trying to push him to his special two which I managed to do all right so now we just revive and you see how much damage Corvus was able to do on that single revive don't even need to heal up and so here we go again parry and a heavy and that is my strategy for fighting this Mysterio. And that's why I don't have a problem with this Mysterio boss. All right. And there we go. And I almost went in. Almost forgot again. But instead, we backed it off, parried. You know, bought ourselves some time. And now we're back on the game plan. 1% health. But it's all good. Here we go, another heavy. We've got one charge left. We fire that off with the special. And then we just went in there because we knew we were gone. You know, even if he didn't attack us, we were gonna be gone. Once our charges were down, we were too low. And most likely our suicides would have killed us. So back again, revive again. No problem. Don't mind this. This is what I call brute force Corvus method and I've done this before because it's faster and I don't have to worry about uh, any gameplay not really a whole lot of skill required to do this you know you do have to be able to parry you know all right I got that falter on me which is why I swiped at him while I could to get that miss done all right and then here we go parry and heavy Parry and heavy. All right, he's already down to 8%. He fired off that special one again. And if it wasn't for the fact that Corvus was awakened, we would have been dead a long time ago. But we finished it off with a special two. And that was the Mysterio boss. Very easy, a few revives, and we're done. So that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully this will help you guys out. When you do your run, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.